Hello and welcome to Dish Shelved with Adam White. And I know the first thing you're thinking is, why is there blood on his nose? Well, to tell you the truth, I got into a fight with a ninja last night. I lost. Uh, in my defense, she had to have been at least 12. So, you know, what can you do? Anyway, I'm here to talk about more important things, which is the book I read this week which is The Killer Thing by Kate Wilhelm. This book was excellent. I had never heard of it. It came up on uh, Michael K. Vaughn during his, uh, some of his vintage science fiction stuff, and it, it just caught my eye, the cover did, and I thought, well, yeah, it looks interesting. So usually I pick old paperbacks just based on covers, and... Uh, I'm seriously glad I did because this was one excellent novel. It's not a real long novel. It's only about 160 pages. Uh, but it was very prescient. It came out in 1967 originally. And it's even more relevant today uh, than even it was then. And uh, I don't know if you could consider it mild spoilers, but probably not. But... I have to talk about some of the things to talk about the themes in this book because that's what's really important about it is the direction the human race is taking. Uh, in this book, it starts out, this doesn't give anything away, it starts out that a guy named Trace, uh, which is short for Captain Tracy, but he calls himself Trace and that's what everybody calls him, is on a desert planet that is a hostile environment, very light on the air, so it's hard to breathe, and there's dust storms all the time, and at night there's tornadoes that throw rocks and boulders and stuff around. Just a very hostile planet. And he's being pursued by a murderous robot that has a disintegration laser beam that it can fire up to two miles. So he's not in a very good position. His uh, partner and friend, he's in the military. Uh, his partner that he landed with was killed, which already happened before the book started. So again, that's not giving anything away. Um, and so he's alone now. And the books, one of the book's themes is about being alone and what it does to you. And he remembers things from his past throughout the book as kind of like he'll have almost hallucinations and it gives you a window into his past because it's the, the effect that both being alone and being in such a hostile environment and being under so much pressure, pressure uh, the stress it puts you under and makes you remember things at strange times. And so he, he hears his, uh, his dead partner talking to him sometimes. And he remembers pl planets he's been to. Uh, he's a, a member of the army of the world group which is a conglomeration of Earth, Venus, and Mars. All of it was started from Earth, but uh, it just got too populous, and so we had to branch out. And um, then that wasn't enough, so once, you know, uh, faster ships that could go farther were made, uh, human 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 beings started taking over other planets, whether there were people there or not. Uh, and you get to see through his remembrances in this or hallucinations or whatever you want to call them. I mean, they're all real. They happened. Uh, and it gives you a window into what he's done. And I mean, he's been part of the military since he was 12 and raised to be that way and to think the way they think. And they just, it shows how humanity goes 
how they deal with other planets when they come in contact with them. When they find a planet that they want, they don't try to barter or trade or anything. They just basically say, you know, you're with us now and we're taking what we want. And so it gives you a real, you get a real sense of what humanity has become through these remembrances. And also, there's also some chapters during it where you find the origins of this robot and how the robot started and how it upgraded its capabilities, why it had, you know, why it had the laser, why it had the things it had, why it became the way it became. Uh, because it was a logical thing, a logical being, but it could only learn from what uh, it encountered. So you learn through those chapters what the robot encountered and why it became the way it became. And why was it a killer robot? Because that's all you really know about it at the beginning is that it's a killer robot after this, after Trace, and it won't stop at anything to kill him. And he knows that. And why did it get that way? Well, you find out during those chapters and through some of his remembrances why the robot became that way. And that's the real heart of this story is how the robot learned to become the way it became. And I think this is a classic work of science fiction. I mean, I really think this is top-notch, just absolutely one of the better books of science fiction I've ever read. Uh, like I said, it wasn't that long, but it got it made a point. It made multiple points. And really did it in a way that was easy to follow, and but it was written in an entertaining way that kept you riveted from page to page. And I just think this is absolutely excellent, and I cannot recommend it enough. Uh, like I said, you, you'll find out the history of the robot, and that's very, very interesting and really how it becomes. And the ending is just, it's appropriate to the story, but it's also kind of a surprise at the same time. And you really get a, uh, you, you get a satisfactory ending to it, which is something that hasn't happened in, in a lot of books Oftentimes, it'll just be waiting to move on to the next book in the series or, you know, the ending's kind of vague or you have an ending like The Cabinet at the End of the World had, which was a non-ending. But this has a very satisfying conclusion and really appropriate to the story. But everything, but it says a lot about humanity you wonder about the title, the killer thing, because, you know, it's obviously this robot, but is it really? So you just really wonder uh, throughout the whole story just who the bad guy is, because you really get a sense of everything that's going on in this very, very possible future. Uh, because of the way that it is written uh, and the way humanity seems to be headed right now, uh, it's a very possible uh, possible future for us. So that's what makes it so compelling. It's an excellent, excellent story. I cannot recommend it enough. I hope you'll give it a chance. It's not, I don't think it's on Kindle. I had to order a, a this old paperback copy, but I got one in pretty good condition. Uh, it's worth tracking it down. 
if you see it in a used bookstore or more likely search online on either Amazon is where I got it, but you have to get it used. Uh, it's worth tracking down. If you're a science fiction fan, it's worth reading this story. So definitely give this book a try. I think it's fantastic. I really enjoyed it. This one's going to stick with me for a long time, and I think it will with you too. It really resonates. Uh, and thank you for hanging out with me this week, and I will see you next week.